Hey y'all, my name is Susan and I've turned my entire backyard into a butterfly garden. And in this video, you're gonna see how I set up a new enclosure for monarch caterpillars and how I maintain it. If you wanna learn more about butterflies and butterfly gardening, then take a minute and tap the subscribe button and check out all of my videos. Oh, how great it is to have monarchs in the house again. I'm seeing fewer monarchs in my garden, a lot fewer. So I'm gonna be bringing some in again and they're looking good. I've chopped all my milkweed back. So let's go let these ones fly free. Okay, you guys, so since I'm gonna bring in some more monarchs, I'm gonna set up another enclosure like that one there. Here, because I like them sideways. There's two chrysalides in this enclosure right here. I'm gonna just set this enclosure somewhere where they can eclose. And then this one's gonna go into the I need washed pile, and I have one of the fresh clean enclosures that I just washed in my last video um and i'm gonna get it set up so let's go do that all right new enclosure well it's not new but it's clean set up in the space put in the paper towels consisting of five bounty select a size <laughs> across now, i'm not gonna fill the whole thing because you'll see how i do the enclosure and i'm gonna the way i'm gonna set this one up I usually tend to do them all different depending on what's going on and what little trays and that sort of thing I have available. So for this enclosure, I'm gonna put this tray in. I think this is an old microwave shelf tray. So I'm gonna set that on top. And then I'll put the floral tubes in and then the changeable paper towel will go in this tray area because that's where all the droppings will collect and I only have to change that one frequently and not the whole thing. It'll save me on paper towels. So paper towels in, tray on top. That's gonna be the setup for now. Oh, and I put some clips on so this won't slide around. So there's the one plant that does not currently have any caterpillars on it. Let me go find the other okay, one. So here. So here is the one with actual caterpillars. I'm just gonna put it in there. So right now there's two. I think I have a third one I'm gonna go look for. I found this little wanderer just in time. He was in the other enclosure looking for a place to pupate. So now he's gonna get to come in. There you go. Well, you go find where you wanna pupate. Yeah. Find a good Jay hanging spot. It's fresh and clean in here. Perfect place to become a monarch butterfly. Okay, so now we're gonna go out and look for a few more monarch caterpillars. Not a lot, not going crazy, but a few, like maybe have 10 or so. All right, so I've got a nice little collection of monarch caterpillars that I'm gonna bring in. So I'm just gonna lay the little leaves. I just plucked the leaves they were on off. I'm just gonna lay them in here and then they can crawl on their own free will to the next place they want to go. And I am going to feed these guys bleach washed milkweed. So everything they have will be super clean. The milkweed that's currently in here is from a plant I unboxed from Joyful Butterfly and it hasn't been exposed to anything. So it's already clean and I'm just gonna go wash some more and put some more cuttings in for all these guys. And then that's all I'm gonna bring in until like they pupate and I'll try and bring in some more to get the flow going again because uh, the monarch situation in my garden has definitely slowed down. And so we're gonna get it going again. Mm -hmm. 
And here is my freshly bleach washed milkweed cuttings that I brought in. And I'm gonna put them in individual floral tubes and put them in the enclosure. And that should last them for a good bit. And if you're curious about how I bleach wash, I, I know I have some videos of bleach washing, but um, when I'm just cleaning leaves and I'm not bleach, bleaching um, eggs, I'm not really concerned about the ratio mix. I mean, I'm not gonna use straight bleach, but, um, so I'll just fill my sink and pour a glop or two of um, just plain old liquid bleach in, slosh it around, put the milkweed in, slosh it around and let it soak for maybe, I don't know, two, three minutes. Give it a chance for the bleach to kill everything that might be on it. And then I rinse it. Now rinse it. I rinse it really, 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 really well because I want to get all that bleach off of it. And um, that's it. Then I bring it out and put it in for them to eat. When you don't have enough monarchs, you just make more. Or you help nature make more. So I just brought out their tray and I put a fresh paper towel in and I wanted to show you like look how their frass collects at the bottom of this floral tube and look at this guy on here and <laughs> look at that guy down there what's he doing <laughs> anyway I'm gonna take these two and put them on the plate of leaves I'm gonna prepare and I'll show you what I do with all this frass but for now let me just carefully Put this back in so that little caterpillar can continue on with his endeavor, whatever he's trying to do. And I'm going to go fix the little plate of food <laughs> for them. Right, here's my little plate. So I'm just going to, I might take a paper towel. Let me take a paper towel. I'm going to take a paper towel and I'm just going to kind of get the excess moisture. I don't want to take all the moisture because they need some moisture to stay fresh but it just didn't want them super wet and then I'm just gonna take all these leaves and set them on their little dinner plate their little it's like a I don't know what kind of plate it's a I don't know it's a little plate and then I'll bring it over here Look, there's already a chrysalis down there. Can you see that? I'll put it right up here. And now let's move these two. Come here, baby. Look, there's a little antenna going. I got more food for you right there. Look at all that. And then <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Maybe he was thinking about molting, but he's not in that straight out I'm getting ready to molt position so I'm gonna go ahead and we'll put you right there too let's see how you like eating on a plate okay so you know I have little compost bins in here so all of this frass and this old stem will go into those and become nutrition for future soil yeah look how cute this little guy is right here Little antenna curl down. I also, when I change the paper towels, look at all that frass. I dumped that in there too. And sometimes if there's caterpillars on it and still good leaves, but there's a lot of frost buildup, I'll just hold the floral tube with a caterpillar over the bin and just give a little tap tap. And the caterpillars are pretty good at holding on. Let me take this guy down here. <laughs> Say hello. So cute. I'm gonna take him off this old leaf and give him a nudge. Go on, your food. A full plate full. Let's just stay with me. He has to think about it. 
He's not sure. He likes to half be with me. There we go. There we go. And there we are, all moved in with our plate of leaves that are not going to go to waste. And lots of fresh bleach washed milkweed ready to munch. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll link the playlist right here at the end for my other videos about raising monarchs. And remember to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.